All right, good afternoon, guys. How are you? It's Timmy B here. We're at uh, the Lone Butte Casino. We're here with the Lone Butte program with KB Cornhole. We're here to do our advanced finals, getting ready to start, our advanced singles here. Our, our competitors today are going to be Bill Hadley versus Larry Felix. And I'm sitting here next to my broadcast partner, Giacomo. That's me. It's a great day here at Lone Butte Casino. We're going to be starting off the uh, advanced singles finals. These guys work really hard to get here, so they are ready to go. All right, we're getting the spin to win. We're going to see who's going to start. Right, we're going to start the final right now. Looks like that Larry won the, the spin, so Larry will be our first thrower. There we go. These guys have worked a long ways through all the other advanced singles to get to where they are right now. So, um, funny thing is, Bill and Larry have met each other before in the finals at Longview Casino the last time. They're great players. Both of them are real consistent. This time, it's the other way around. Bill is the, in the winner's bracket. Larry's coming out of the loser. So, Larry has to beat him twice. So they already spun the, uh, the bag right there. It looks like they're already starting throwing. They've had a little bit of practice time while we're setting everything up. And I think uh, we're going to take a look at the score as soon as Larry throws. All right, Larry, Larry picks up one bag at one point here. So we're coming back. This is our second board on the start. These guys are so consistent. This, this game could go on forever and ever. Um, but it, it's just a great game. It's good, good West Coast cornhole. Absolutely, and actually Larry picked up two on that one. It was 10 to 8 for uh, Larry on that one, so he's two ahead right now. And so he leads off with the uh, first bag with a great blocker in front of the hole. Bill pushes him both in, yeah, so they're moving back. Larry's assistant is lead the bag. That's the whole idea right there. I mean, Larry's got to be real consistent against Bill. Bill is just going to put it in the hole. You leave that front door open, it's going to be in. You know, Bill really consistently follows through, and Larry knows that game, and so they've played each other a lot, so they're playing. Nice bag by Larry on that one to follow up. Bill puts it in. Looks like that one right there. All right, they're walking down to the other end. Looks like we've got score, and we're going to have three more by Larry. Is that what I see? Three more by Larry. So Larry's up on him right now. Larry is coming out of the loser's bracket, yep. so Larry has to beat him twice to win the tournament. How this works is if... If Bill stayed up in the winner's bracket the entire time, then he's already guaranteed the championship. So he went through everybody else. Larry went through the loser's bracket. He had to work through everybody to get back up to Bill. So it's actually in the bracket-wise, he has to beat Bill the first time, but then Bill drops into the loser's bracket, and so it's going to be a sudden death. So it will even up on that one, the one of that one goes. Bill just pushed Larry's bag in. They're fighting back and forth. He's got an open hole, and, and Larry slides it right in there. He has a good opportunity. Bill might think about airmail in this one. Drag two. Oh, he almost got that one. He hit the top of the bag. That was a great shot. Just didn't pull the other one in. Great yeah. shot. Airmail, it looks like it's four to eight. Yeah, but he had 12. It was 12 to, 12 to eight on the board, so he picked up four. Yeah, I don't know how Larry squeezed that, that bag in between two of Bill sitting on either side. That was unbelievable. That's why we... we, we Preach, use slidey side if there are bags around the hole. Got to use slidey side. Larry leads off with a bag in the hole, just like he has all the time. Larry has control of the board. Bill goes off. Uh, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate because you leave an opening like that. It's a good possibility. Bill's getting a little, little jittery here. Which he Larry's got two in the hole, one on the top. Larry missed that one. Looks like Larry's going to try. There it is. There it is. Go put that one in. There we go. It's going to be really close right here. It all depends on Bill putting it in the back. Yep, there it is. All right, looks like we're up and set. Was that a wash that time, or what did we get? No. Actually, it looks like Larry picked up one. Larry picked up one. Wow. So it's 10, 10 to 9. 10 to 9. All right, we're now 9 to 10. Larry's first bag goes in. Larry's first bag goes in. Bill's going to leave a blocker right on the left-hand side of the hole. Larry pushes that one in but leaves his as blocker, so both Bill's got to do the same thing. There's a great shot right there. Cleared the board, cleared the board. Oh, that's going to be unfortunate. Larry went right-hand side, top corner. And so did Bill. That's called following. There you go. Bill put it right in again. That's a wash right there. 10-10 wash. 10 -10 wash. Came from Tim, Bill and Bill and Larry. 
Well, we had an interview with Larry. We talked to him a little bit. Larry is from northern Arizona. He uh, is from a little town called Ray. Grew up playing sports. So he, he's talked a little bit about he's an athletic guy. That's absolutely right. And, and Bill, I've known Bill for probably three and a half years, four years. He's been playing bags pretty consistently. And Bill's from Chicago. Great Blackhawks fan. He loves Chicago Blackhawks. He has the jerseys, the hats, you name it. He loves that team. Looks like they're following up again, bag after bag. This is the championship, so it's going to be really detrimental if anybody even misses the hole. Yeah, they're, they're trading bags right now. It's going real well. Could be a four-bag wash coming up. Could be a four-bag wash. Oh, Larry puts it high tops and right-hand side. That's what he did last time. Bill puts it in there. Puts it in and picks up two right there for Bill. He's on the board now. He's on the board. So Larry's got the lead right now, 9-2. Nine to 9-2. to 9-2. to two. Nine to two. We'll get the score updated real quick. So what we've got going on is Larry's going to be ahead 9-2. to two. Bill's got first bag. So with first bag, he's going to try to put it in the hole and make Larry follow up or put a block on the right-hand side lower corner. There we go. Good push in. He put his bag in by himself. And, oh, Bill's, Bill's fell also. Bill followed up another one. These guys are really focused. They're really intense. That's a great shot right there. Because anything he does, that back's going in. Uh, Bill threw it off the back of the board. He is visibly upset. That is called a replacement. A replacement. It's going to be a tough shot. He lays it up, plays safe. Larry's going to go, I think, with an airmail. Oh, no, he just pushed forward a little bit, a little pop, and he was all good. So now we just updated 12 to 2. Wow, Larry is just on fire right now. But that, he, that's what he has to be to, to get it. Playing Bill. He's got to get out on him because Bill can score big real quick. Well, the fun thing is, is, is Bill is, is a relatively conservative player. He will just keep going forward in the hole, and he rarely airmails unless he has to. Larry lays one out front. Bill puts it in the hole. Larry's coming back. Larry pushes right into the hole. He actually, Larry's moved over to the right-hand side a little bit, so he can try to pull that other bag in, but he just went center a little bit too much. Now Larry's got an opening. It looks like bumpers for... Yep, there it is, bumpers. That's bumpers. Bill put it in. Larry comes back, ends up three on the board. Bill could go four and, and pick up six here. Oh, so it looks like that ten, we 10-6-4. Ten, six, four. Yeah. yeah. This is how Bill creeps back. This is how Bill creeps back. You make a couple of mistakes. You don't want to make mistakes. You will capitalize. Capitalize on your mistakes. That's the idea. Bill, Bill is so consistent, like I said. And now Bill has a board, so Bill's going to lead. He's going to lead in with the hole. Well, he's going to put it in with the hole, which he does most of the time. But he's actually been playing blocker a little bit today. Maybe he's trying to change his strategy up just a little bit because they played so much together. Well, I, I, I truly believe that. I think Bill is going to go hole for hole with anybody in here. That's the whole thing. But you know what? I'm really surprised he's been putting blockers up. All right, Bill's got two in front. Larry's got one off to the side. Larry follows back up right there. He might hit this really hard try to jam two of them. If he goes over the top, that would be something different. I don't know if I'd try it. Oh, there we he go. laid up. Looks like Larry will probably lay up too, and we'll take a wash all the way across. So, yeah, they're just so consistent. And that's, and that's the real big difference between advanced players and competitive players and social and tailgate is the consistency more than anything in how to play the game. Yeah. I mean, there, there are certain things that you have to realize that you have to do. The first one is you got to keep the bags on the board. I mean, even if you don't put it in the hole as a, as a beginning player, keep them on the board because you're going to score points. Bill leads in with the there. Larry follows right back in. Two bags in the hole already. Yep. They're going to keep going back and forth, and this is where the consistency comes in hand. Tim was just talking about right there. They both have two bags in the hole right now. Bill's coming up front. Oh, he's off to the side a little bit. Leaves an opening for Larry. Yep. And Larry almost should have taken advantage of that. That's a shame, but you know what? This is why it's going Sometimes you get choked up and you miss it, and you just can't put them in and be as consistent. Looks like uh, they're talking a little bit. Bill picked up one. Yeah, so we're 12-7 out here right now. Bill's going to lead off. We have the first throw. Now, also, you got to remember, we're going back to Larry has to double dip Bill. I mean, he's got to win this first one. He's got to go again against Bill, the number one guy in Arizona, to get this done. Larry leads in with the bag. Bill sitting on the side. He's got no man's land. But Bill comes back with another bag. 
That is no man's land. Anytime you put it, oh, see, like right there, there's not a whole lot you can do with that bag to bring it in the hole. You don't want it behind the hole, and that's for sure. And Bill uses that back bag to tap one in. Larry follows right back in. They both have one bag left in their hand. There it is. If uh, Larry gets this in there, it should be a good wash right there. Yeah, we have another wash on the board. You know, the thing is, is we're here at Lone Butte Casino. This is a great tournament. These guys have played all morning. Yes. You know, you get a little consistency. And, you know, I tend to get choked up a little bit and try to get in a hurry sometimes. And you have to take deep breaths. And that's one thing Larry's been working with me about is taking deep breaths yep. and relaxing. just relaxing a little bit. Not get letting everything else that's going on there. These guys are good at that. That's why they're here. Well, the whole thing, they're good at this because they are actually ACL pros. I mean, Larry and Bill are actually ACL pros. That's probably why they're in the fi advanced finals. Yeah. What do we have? All bags in right now? Oh, Larry left one on the back. Bill is going to might use the front door on this one. Yep. Oh, now we got a little jam-up problem. They're going to have, Larry's going to have to think about. Yes. Larry slid out to no man's land. So Larry's got one bag in his hand. Bill's got one bag. He let off. Push the bag off. That's a deal. I'm not sure if he wanted to do that. I think he was aiming for the center. It was just a missed throw. Just a missed miss throw. throw. Larry's going to pick up one. Yeah, Larry picked up one, so we got the score right. And it, and it goes back to the same thing. You got to keep the bags on the board, on the bag. Actually, Bill picked up that one. It was nine to eight. It was nine to eight. Bill picked oh, Bill picked it up. So now we're eight, now we're eight we're eight twelve now on the score. Bill will lead on the Bill will lead out. There's the first one in the hole. Larry's got to follow him. And uh, he's, he's got it. You know, it's a not bad bag. I mean, it's to the right a little bit, but it leaves the door open for, for bumpers. Do you think Larry could pull that bag in? With a decent air mill, the high velocity on the right-hand side, it's a good possibility, but now he can't. Yeah, put, Bill put that blocker up. He knew that was coming. So Larry's just trying to push around right now. This is going to be very key right now because he's got to go over the top, or he can go straight door out into Larry's bags and push him over. There, look at that. Nice, nice shot. Man, that was what a great setup. Push that bag, took both of them in. Wow, 12, 12 6. That's a big, big turn right there. That's a big round right there. Big and, that, and that's what Bill does. Bill does that oh, to you. He just takes advantages of, of the times that you miss even slightly off the hole. He'll go straight ahead in and, and push your bag away from the hole so you have no opportunity. But he just four bagged right there. Great shot, great shot. Bill left one out to the side, so he's going to have to fight a little bit. Larry comes right back in, man. How consistent are these guys? Well, i got to tell you, they're, they're straight ahead, straight ahead at the hole. It's, it's how you win, and that's why they're always here in the same, same uh, number one ranking right here. Finals, every time. Wow, what a great shot. Larry's outside a little bit. They both have one bag left in their hand. I think, uh, there we go, Bill's put another one. Larry's going to have to slow down a little bit. Yeah, he's over Oh, Larry's, Larry's a little shook right now. He went off the board that time. That's going to cost him three. Yeah, yeah he's, he's over trying a little bit. Yeah, and that's, that's like I said, that, that one turn was a big turnaround, and now we're 17-5. Larry's down five, and he has to win this game. So, man, it's just got to work. Yeah, it's a big turnaround just by the six points right there. I mean, Bill put 12 on the hole. Now he's got to finish this whole deal off. Doesn't give Larry a chance, but he left the front door open. Larry's got one in the hole. Bill's got two on the outside on the back. They're looking for blocker. What, what he might do is, is lay it behind Larry's bag. Yep, yep, trying to get that because Larry might move them both forward. But it's kind of a small hole to fit those two bags in, though. Yeah, he tried. He tried. Yeah, so Larry's got one in the hole, though, so he's ahead right now. Bill's going to take a four. Larry will take a seven. We'll be three. Conservative play. Conservative play. He's got to. There's nothing else on there. So two. Yeah, we picked up two, so now, it's, now we're up to... We're at, we're at a 14-17, a so Larry's only down three. He's, but he, is it 18 14? 18-14. Larry's down four. Yep. All right. So Larry's got to focus now. He's got the lead on the bag. So what does he do? Does he go blocker, or does he come back and, and lead to the hole? There, there's two different philosophies on this one. Okay, the first one, if your blocker isn't consistent and you throw it away from the hole, then you're already in. That's a wasted bag, wasted bag. I, myself, in this level right here, just go at the hole. Yeah, Larry's got one in. He's got two in now. Bill's got one in no man's land. Yeah, it's up high in the corner, but you know what? Bill's going to keep shooting center to, to minimize, minimize, minimize. 
Larry's on track for a four-holer. Here we go. Bill's got another one in there. All you need to make this one to get a couple points. And he went high side, high side left. Bill can make this in and wash out. And he hung it. Oh, and he hung it. So that's going to give, that's gonna give uh, Larry two? Well, it's going to be, yeah, 10-8. Ten 10-8. Eight. Ten eight. Yeah. So, so Larry picks up two. He still has control of the board. So we're going to come back. Now we're down. And that's the thing. It's so different that it can be churned, but Bill picks those big chunks up real quick. Yeah, that, that one. I, I can tell you that it's still on Larry's mind that he gave up six points like that. It's still bothering because it bothers me. It's, but he's got to drop all that, refocus, get center of the board, and get it done. He needs to win this one up. Uh-oh. Very fortunate for Larry. He went Larry's out in no man's land, but Larry has one in. Bill has one off. Yeah, Actually, it was uh, too hard of a throw from Bill, and he's laying it over. Now he's going to put a blocker on the right-hand side. Larry's going to put it on the left-hand side. Yep, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, Bill has two bags in his hand. Oh, nice try, but he's still This is going to leave it up for an air mill on the left-hand side. Hopefully he can swing them both in. Needs to be done. Oh, what an air mill. What a wash. Can you believe that? Remember, he had one off. Oh, that's right. That's right, Larry. That's a change of, of fortune right there. Yeah. 1918. Change of fortune. Yeah, right change there. of fortune. Wow. That's right. To play Bill, you just got to relax. You got to relax. Let him throw his bags. You got to counter him as they go. But you know what? To go bag for bag with him right now is going to be very difficult for anybody. Larry leads off with one in the hole. Bill comes back, follows in. What we're looking at. Yep, there you go. They're just trading bag for bag right now. And that's what they are consistent. And they'll take a, they'll take a four bag wash, but actually, Bill left one out. Well, I think anybody will take a four bag wash, but no, it actually fell in right after that. Larry hit the board, went in. There it is. It could be a four bag wash. Nice shot. Nice shot. These guys are pros. They're looking for a four bag wash from Bill. Oh, and he left one there. That's a that's a game. Oh, we're, we're going sudden death. Wow, what a great game. Game, I got to tell you, kudos to Larry for keeping his stuff together. I mean, keeping it together after that six-point uh, loss against Bill on that one, 12 to 6. But, I mean, to come back and do that, nice job, Larry Felix. Now it comes down to tiebreaker right here. This is it. Yeah, so the nice thing is that we don't respin. We just start, and Larry gets a start because he's the winner. And Larry throws the first bag up there, hanging a little bit. Well, I don't know now what's going through Bill's head, but he knows he should have won that one. I mean, six points ahead right there. He just opened the door a little bit, a couple bad shots. You always regret the bag off the back of the board because there's no reason for it. That's when you have to take the deep breath, let that last game go, and refocus and get your game going again this time. Well, it's amazing Larry did that. I mean, that, that's, that shows you that's concentration and, and focus. The guy's got focus. I mean, both these guys are just phenomenal. Well, we know we've been here before because these guys played in the East-West Championship before, and it went to two games before. It did, it did. It and it was Larry Felix. So it was, it's a tough deal. It's, it's not an easy deal, but they're both consistent players. They're doing real well. Yep. It's like we're, uh, they started out ended up with a wash. wash. Right, yeah, with a wash right there. Still 0-0 zero, zero wash. They're hanging out there. So, Oh, wait. Was that a wash or was it two? Down Bill, down Bill, down drug down a, Bill drug a bag out of the bottom. I know. I saw that. Uh, that might be at a down and back for him. I don't know what their agreement is. But they might have said, hey, uh, let's throw one round back. But we'll find out real quick. The unfortunate thing is we don't know what's going on out there. We, we're, kinda, we're, we're right here on the sidelines, and we're seeing what's going on. But sometimes it's hard to tell what, the, what they're thinking, if they're going down and back or if they started live. That is correct. So we're just going to have to wait for this round right here and catch up with the uh, score as it comes to us. Uh, Larry put one right by Bill, and there's one in no man's land on the upper right-hand side. Bill, oh, he touched that, but he didn't push it in. I think, what do you think, Bill will push it? Absolutely. He just needs to touch it. Yep, there it is. Just need to touch that one. Oh, and Larry chokes on there. Woof. That's going to hurt. Um, you know, maybe on that shot, I think he was trying too hard to push the bag forward and blow it by Bill and try to get them both, and it just hung on his finger. I mean, it's happened to everybody. It, it just happens. You just have a bad throw. Yeah, Bill picks up two to start. So here we are. We're 2 nothing. Bill's ahead right now. Yeah, I guess that was a down and back for them because Larry threw that one off the board, scoring Bill two. But why did Larry go first? That was interesting. I don't know. Yeah. 
Did Larry pick up too? Did we miss something? I, I'm not super sure if they understand that that uh, if Bill scored two points. Oh, maybe it was one. I can't see the scoreboard. I think I think Larry's got one up. Does it Bill have two up? I can't tell. That's a pile down there. That's, That's a pile. pile. Looks like we're two to one. So they did count that first okay. one down there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, they did count that one down there, and that was that one, and then. Yeah. So now we're two to one, right? There we go. So we're who's even got, up. Who's got control of the board? L Larry, I think Larry has control. No. Nope. Yeah, Larry has control. Yeah. Control of the board also is very, very paramount because it dictates to the other player what you're going to be doing. If you put it in the hole on your first back, he needs to follow. If you put a blocker up, you need to see what he does. But Larry's in right now. Bill's hanging in the front. This is going to be a tough one. Bill's going to try to get him all in. Larry's trying to push him, push that bag out of the way a little bit. You know, Larry's got one in there. Now Larry's got to come with a blocker, but he pushed himself in. Now you got either one, the gold and the blue bag up top. Bill puts it in. I would say Bill's in a better position right now because he can go to a four bag and get four bags in. And there it is right there. Oh, he left one up high. So it's uh, going to be 10 to 8, 10 to 8. Left one up high. I have this trash can right here behind me. I can't see it. So Bill picks up two. Yes. Yes, four to one. Four to one. Here we go. We're coming back. Yeah, with this trash can, it's hard to see. Sudden death. I mean, whoever wins this is winning. I mean, it, it, it was a miracle and a great amount of throwing that, that Larry came back to win that first game, which is, you know, kudos to him. That was fantastic, being down so much and then just squeaking back slowly. So they're right now they're both kind of in the middle of their game, and so they're kind of both hesitant a little bit, and you don't want to, you don't want to be shy. You just have to be confident and throw that bag. Well, you know, every throw counts as something, so you start tend to come back a little bit and start playing conservative because you don't want to make the mistake where the other guy capitalizes. Like that one right there, Larry's a little mad about that throw. Uh, Bill goes off. It gives Larry a chance to put a board on. There it is. There it is. Picked up two. Yeah, one, one, six, five. That was six to five. Bill had that one unfortunate bag that blew past everybody else. He was trying to move his and just missed. I mean, just missed. That's great. So uh, here we go. It'll give uh, Larry control with control of the board. And he puts it in. Bill's off to the left a little bit right now. You know, it, it's kind of far away from the hole, so you can't even move that bag. So, again, it's a wasted bag. Larry put it in. He's trying to squeak it over a little bit. Yeah, so Larry's going to try to get right there and pushes both of them in. What a great bag. That's a good bag. There we go. The only thing Bill can do right now is just make them all and hope for the best that Larry misses. Larry has four in. He needs this to keep it to two. Yeah. So we're tied up again. Surprising, right? I'm telling you, the sheer consistency of these guys, they're just, just A-class Arizona number one players. I mean, this is singles, so they don't blame anybody else but themselves. You know when they're mad about a shot, but, you know, they're just consistent, and they're, they're excellent players, excellent players. Larry leads off with a blocker. That's a different strategy this time. You're absolutely right because uh, normally he was just I, – I, I don't know if he says he inside his head he can go hole for hole with Bill or not, so he put a blocker up, which is a, a different move. Well, it's nice because now he's got that bag in front of there, and Bill pushes him in. Yeah, he did push him in, but then also that clears a hole for uh, Bill to push two in. Good block right there. Yeah, he just Larry, went. Larry had to come back with that blocker so that he can't get in there. Now, oh Bill, the airmail. The whole airmail. What a great shot! My goodness, that was great. I don't know what Larry. What did we say? That's a five percent chance. Oh, it it is. It's very minimal. I got to tell you because the two, the hole compared to the board. Oh, he puts another one in. <laughs> Larry went for the airmail, drove Bill's bag in, and then he went there. So Bill has three in in there. 10-6. Bill picks up four. That was uh, two back-to-back airmails by Will. That was just spot on. I mean, just deadly. I mean, the first one you see and you go, wow, that was a great shot over the top of the bag. But to put another one in the back of the hole, just practice and, and patience. Practice. And, hey, that's a new word right there. Practice and patience. I'm a guru. <laughs> You know what, but does that crack your player? I mean, you see somebody do that to you, you kind of go, kind of take that deep breath and go, uh-oh. Well, you know what, Any anything that does like that. I mean, I've, I've put up blockers in front of the hole and watch a guy throw two right over the top of them, and you can't do anything about it. Wow. Just blows the scoring. And that's the difference, too, when, like, playing where I play in the socials, I can put a blocker up there, and, and it's good. It puts a little pressure on the guy. Or if I lead, it puts a little pressure oh, on the guy. Just put one off the board. 
board. He just put one off the board. He's got one in, one off. Bill's got two hanging. Oh, and Bill just took two off, and he's got one in the hole, though. Oh, and that one stayed on for him. And that's hard. Bill needs a little bit of luck refreshment, and we'll keep moving. Just got to get focused and recentered on this, and focused and recentered because that was just a bad round by both of them. Bad round. Those things happen, but you never want it to happen. Just a tough round throwing. So let's see if they. Larry Larry picks up three out of that boat that board. Now we're down to eight seven. It's tight again. Bill blew that one right off the back of the board, trying to move another bag, which is so tough. There it is. He's moving uh, Larry's bag away from the hole. You know, it's it's amazing how quick they think. I try to think fast on my feet, but these guys think way fast because they played so much. I mean, you look at a bag and, and you know if you're going to be able to move it or not. And what you, They're actually like I tell a lot of the guys that I, I teach. I say, you know what, look two shots ahead. Just think from pool, look two shots ahead. What's he going to do compared to the bag I put there? It's going to be a tough choice right now. He's got to push that one. Man jammed it. What a try. Larry's going to pick up two more. It's going to put him ahead now. 9-8. Nine, 9-8, eight. Nine, eight, nine, eight. So, is yeah. Really, this is, this is almost heart-wrenching how close it, it is. I mean, each throw, I mean, every bag counts. So we're going to see what they do right here. Yeah, we're just sitting on the edge watching, and it's just crazy. you got people around here watching. It's, it's nice. I mean, this is a great facility. We're here at Lone Boot Casino here in Chandler, Arizona. It's KB Cornhole's event, and they put on such a great event. Yeah, this is uh, a, I think it's a regional for ACL on this one. Yeah, it's a regional. Yeah, regional points available this time. Short right, short left, short left. You know, and in the points, you get more points as an advanced player than you do as a social player. Larry dropped uh, all the bags in right now, so they're square on the board. And uh, Bill puts another one back in. They both have one bag in their hand left. Larry comes and leaves one on the top. He went to high side. This, is a, this could be a two-point swing right here. Got to make it in. Yep, there it is. Nice. It's going to be 12-10, so you're going to pick up two for uh, Bill. Let's let him post it, and then we'll put it up on our scoreboard there. All right, so yeah, so now Bill's got the board. He's advantage. What does Bill do? Does he block, or does he lead? You know what? Um, I think with that uh, two points he does, he's going to go straight in the hole and see if Larry's going to follow him. He puts a blocker on the right-hand side. That shows the skill that Larry has that Bill's actually trying to block him out. Oh, what a great shot. Yeah, Bill put that blocker there, and he left it there. Left, let Larry go around. Now Bill has two bags. If he airmails, he could drag those two. Absolutely. We'll see. Oh, Larry did him a favor and dropped that one in. Bill's over to the left, leaves Larry an open front. Yep. Open front. He's got a little left-hand side. That's exactly it. Now that, that hole is clogged. I don't know what he's going to do. Yep, went in. I think he was trying to follow in with an airmail, but he just missed. At least Larry just has to lay up, and he's going to pick up, pick up two, right? One, picked up one. Two, picked up two. Man, these guys are, yeah, these guys are trading points left and right. One, two here, one, two there. You notice we're not seeing those big swaps of five and ten. Oh, my goodness, Tim. I'm sitting on the sideline. I'm getting anxious because it is so close. I mean, any bag that you miss off the board, that's potentially three points the other way. And in this game, with this level, that's a big difference. A big difference. I mean, ones and twos you can handle, but once you go anything past threes and fours, it's tough to come back from. Uh, Larry's got a good position right now. He's got two sitting in front hole. Bill blocks him with a good block. Yeah, he's trying to squeeze that up so they can't push any in. They'll take a, a four-bag yep. wash. Looks it like it's pretty squeezed. It is, it is jammed up pretty good, so it's going to take a... Yep, they're going to play it safe. Larry, it's going to be Larry's call on this one he wants to. He can airmail in the back and see if he can hit that one finger that's sitting out. Oh, jammed it, and he dropped one in the back hole. Now it is a situation Bill is going to have to think about. He might have to go center hole, hit Larry's bag, and drop his in the front because Larry's got one in. Yeah. Bill's taking a minute here. He's going to walk down and look and see what his advantage is to it. All right, here we go. Bill's going to make a decision what he's going to do. I think he's going airmail. I'm thinking he's probably going to push. Oh, there it is. And he hung up Larry's bag just in front of the hole. Just in front of the hole. Not bad. That's about the best shot he could have done to make up for that. Nice right. job. Nice job. What a great. He picks up. Uh, Larry picked up three, two. Two. So we're 13-10 we're now. Yeah, that's about the only chance Bill had to do anything to minimize on that one. Yeah, and that, but what a great call, you know. 
But that's that's something that I see versus I couldn't do. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's a tough one. you got to throw the ball extremely hard on that one. So, again, Bill's going to go with a blocker on the left-hand side. Oh, unfortunate. That one's going to hurt. Like I told you. Wow, that's hard. That's hard. You miss a bag. It is painful because this could cost him six right here. Oh, good pinup. Let's see what happens. Bill might push hard. He pinned him up. Bill put, Oh, Bill sat in front. Wow. Sat in front, but I think he's trying to push. But I think Larry's bag really, really pinned that up. He's going to have to blast this with a bullet shot if he's going to move anything. There it is. Look up fast. Too hard. Oh, man. But Bill has one in, and we've got the one out front. So we're going to have, I think it's three for Bill. Nope. So what are we calling? Oh, that Larry had the. <laughs> Larry picks up one. The whole thing with that one, Bill had a really tough chance to make any bag on that one because he had to really blow through that pile. He's got to move four pounds of bags with one pound. It, it, it's going to be a tough throw. Oh, this is not going to be a good start right here. That shook Bill up a little bit. Larry's got two in the hole right now. There we go. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> So he's, got to, he's just got to minimize right now. Oh, and Larry goes out to no man land. Yeah, he gave him a freebie on that one. Gave him a pass. But again, Bill's going left for a little bit. This is three bags in a row. He went left. He's going to have to correct this one and put it in the hole. He's going to be in a bunch of trouble right now. A bunch of trouble. Oh, what a great air melt. See, that's, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's the difference between me and you, man. That, that, what, an, oh, what a great air melt. Ropes and he just drops an air melt in half of the, half of the uh, thing right there. Unbelievable. Wow, what a great shot. That was something else right there. All right, now we're 15-5 right now. Here we go. We got uh, some crowd talking to us, making a little noise. They're making some adjustments on the board. Once again, here we're with KB Cornhole. We're here at Lone Butte Casino in Chandler, Arizona. This is, this, is, this is a sudden death. We're at the ACL Regional here for us here in Arizona. Regional points on the line, plus the championship and some money. You know about that. Hey, you know what? Advanced singles. It took a lot of hard work, a lot of practice, a lot of time to get here, and these two guys are proving the fact right now. This is a nail-biter all the way around. Larry won the first game. And uh, he needs to capitalize and uh, double dip Bill for the second one right here to win this whole thing. Yeah, Larry came out and won the first one. We're on our second game right now, so it's a double dip. Larry's got out there. Larry's got three in the hole, one up. Bill's got three in the hole. Bill goes four in the hole, so Bill's going to pick up two. See? You know, it, it, it's one of those things where when you put a four-bagger in, which is the thought process for everybody, and you only get two points, you take the two points. But, man, I'll tell you, it breaks my heart when I get a four-bag wash. It breaks my heart. Yeah, but still, the, the, th the difference is, is we're in advance. We're, these guys are pros. They're consistent, and that's what we need from them. Absolutely. I mean, the, you know, just keep following up, four bag, four bag, and keep winning. That's the idea. Just put it on there. So Larry's got a slight edge. Bill's got to make up some ground right here. Don't let him overthink himself. That's the whole idea. That's when you're taking deep breaths. You're trying to slow down a little bit. And that's Larry's situation. He loves to slow down and slow the game down. Bill's got two lower right-hand side. Larry, this is this is where Larry shines right now. He, he sees the opening. Sees the opening. He's going to take advantage of it right now. That's going to be painful. Yeah, Larry takes a four-bagger. He's going to pick up four more, correct? It's uh, He's got 12-8. He's going to pick up four, yeah. All right. Here's the thought process going through Bill's mind. He knows what he needs to do. He's got to come up. He's got to wait for Larry to make a mistake, and he cannot make a mistake at all. It is that close. It is that close. Well, and you know Bill can do that. Bill's, Bill's not threatened by this, but he knows he has to play well. Absolutely. He's going to do it right now. Oh, this is going to be painful. Yeah, Larry, Larry sees it's like It's like smelling blood in the water. Larry sees this, and he's, he's, going, to, he's going to kill it. Oh, Larry choked up a little bit. A little bit. I don't know if he was trying to lay a blocker, but great shot by Bill getting around him. Oh, man. I just He wants that bag back so bad it hurts. Bill's got the opportunity. He lays up short. He'll take up the one. He'll, He'll take the one point. Absolutely. Anytime you can get one point is, is all good. Anytime. Absolutely. Nice job. And again, he's still got to keep, you know, he's six down. He's six down right now from Larry. He's got to, he's got to play a little conservative. Yeah, but still, picking up that one point, but you get to lead the bag. So then you make the side, are we blocking or are we leading? Yeah. Exactly. You, you dictate on what you're going to do. I, I think he's going to put it out there and get it in the hole and try to play his game. Bill Bill will go hold for hold with anybody. He left it in the back. Larry puts it in. Larry slides it in the front. Now, Bill's got an advantage because he can airmail that. He's got two in the back. 
He's got two in the back, but it's covering half the hole. There's that plug. That's almost an instant replay of just what happened on the other side of the board. Great shot, Bill. Great shot. He's still got two, two in the back. Two in the hole. He got two on the back. Larry, oh, sneaking on. Larry's got one bag. Bill's got one bag in his hand. He plugged that hole. This is going to be a tough shot. Bill's got to do something with those other bags. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's, it, it's, it's moving. Larry's bag will go first, but I, I don't know. I think Bill might be plugged. I don't know. Larry's shot, he's going to, oh, he pushes off to the right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else to do, man, but yeah, what a great. I mean, hit that board real quick and see if it drops. Was he going in? I think Larry's bag looked like it was, in. no, it hung. It hung. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Larry picks up one, yeah. And it, but you think about it, if it goes on and they all go in, you know, yeah, it's a big know, turnaround. It, it was, it was a, I think it was a good call. It was a good call, but all he needed was one point. And I think he would have put down a board because he had a blue back underneath their hanging. This is the finals right here, so they're throwing right now. This could be the game. Larry leaves one out of no man's land. Bill's got two in. Now Bill's going to have to focus and drag that back in. I bet you goes, oh, never mind. Larry did it for him. He's got to put in this hole. He's got to catch up. Larry, Bill needs a four-bagger right here. Larry's got two on the back. Larry, two in, two on. Bill's got three in right now. Four right now. Yep, there it is. He got his four-bagger. Four-bagger. There we go. Pick up. No, Tim, going back to that other round, Bill had three bags hanging there. I think two of his bags were pinning Larry's bag up in the air above the hole. Exactly. That's why they only went. It was the craziest thing. I, I said, I don't know what to do. I mean, he's going in. I think that was a great choice not to go on the board and just just take take the point that he got. Because I think if Larry's bags would have dropped, two of Bill's would have dropped also. Bill went high left. There you go. Larry's in. Bill's got one in. And Bill's high left. Oh, Larry goes off. That you just want back, but you can't have him back. He throws a blocker because he doesn't want to, this this to escape. He's looking for points right now. He's gonna have to try to airmail, get something back in. Bill's got a he goes air mail. Oh, he goes push. Wow, went push. So what do we do? Larry's going air mail or is he going? I think so I think he's going to try to close this out right here. Oh, he goes slide to side on the right-hand side. A little, more, a little harder push. So we are, that, so are we at a wash? No, we got Bill picked up some points. So this is Sudden Death at Lone Butte Casino right here. Yeah, Sudden Death, Lone Butte Casino. We're down. I mean, it's 2017. 10. Yeah, 2017. Unbelievable game. Unbelievable game. These guys are phenomenal. We can still go another two boards. Yeah. yeah you, it, it's a good possibility. I mean, you got one point. Well, Larry's going to make a great shot right there. Get around him. Bill's got to push both backs. Oh, that might be the key right there. That might be it because that door is still open for Larry. It's still open. Good call, Tim. Oh, he pushed it in. Larry has two bags in his hand. Bill's got three on the board. Yeah. That's 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 six right there. That's that's gonna be all. Oh, that's all she wrote. That's right. all she wrote. What a great final. We're here. There, we're here at the Longview Casino for the ACL Regionals here for Arizona. This is Timmy B here, and we have Giacomo. I got a recap on this one. Larry had to come back two games to beat Bill. He did it. There was just consistency. He stayed that. I mean, he took a six-point hit in the first game, but he came back. These guys are twos and threes every single time. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Come out and play cornhole. What a great game. Good to see you. Once again, it's Timmy B. and Giacomo here. We're at the Longview Casino. Nice, great finish. Larry, Larry ends up winning, and he double taps Bill. Now we're going to have the live money shot right here. He's got two throws. We have a pot. How much is the pot? How much is the pot? Live money shot. How much is the pot? Derek's already got 30 bucks. Each bag he puts in is worth $30. It's 25%. It's 25%. There we go. There we go. Misses the first one. Well, he's still got 30 bucks in his pocket. We're going for the next one. In the hole. And you know, he short tries it too. So he takes the 30 bucks. The other, the rest will carry over to the next. Next, yep. It's. Uh All right, good afternoon, everybody. This is Timmy B here. I'm with Luke Steady, Eddie Stedman. How's everyone doing? 
Good. We're here, and we got the comp advanced doubles finals right now. Uh, we have two great teams that are going on. We have Bill and Doug, which are Mr. Consistent, and then we have Mike Molina and Larry Felix. Larry usually plays with Ty Lopez, but Ty's out of town this weekend, so we have them playing. We're starting. This is our first round right here. Bag and Bill and uh, Doug, they're, uh, they're, they're champions, so it's going to be a tough matchup for uh, Molina and uh, Larry there. Yeah, that's a great meet right now. These guys will do a great job. Uh, we got consistent. We got some points on the board. Looks like we got uh, gave up five right away. Uh, Doug and Bill picked up five right away. So Doug and Bill are coming out of the uh, winner's bracket. So uh, Larry and Molina have to beat them twice. Yeah, and, uh, you know, that's, that's going to be tough on these guys. They're, uh, they're used to playing with each other. They know their, their own system, and, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be tough. Larry and, and Doug are trading uh, airmails back and forth right now. You know, these, all these guys are pros. They're all considered pros. They're, they're great players here with the ACL. Um, it's just consistent. There goes Doug, another, another one. They picked up one more point. Airmail consistency right now. Yep, that was good by Doug, and Doug is, uh, he, he's got the, uh, one of the best bags in Arizona, and he's just, he's, he's hard to beat, you know, beating uh, all those guys from uh, Las Vegas and, uh, you know, going to those California tournaments, like, uh, you know, the throwdown and all that, they, they did pretty well there, too, so. Yeah, they went together to Spencer McKenzie to the throwdown, they did well there. Um, right now, they're kind of trading bags. That's one thing about them, real consistent. Doug and, and uh, Bill are throwing red bags, and Molina and Larry are throwing the blue bags out there right now. They're kind of waiting to see if they're going to fall and make a decision. Okay. They gave up two more points. So it's now 8-0, to zero, Doug. Doug and Bill, they've got the heads up right now. Uh, so it's just real consistent, and that's the one thing about Doug and Bill is they're super consistent, and they've been real consistent playing together. Yeah, definitely, and uh, Larry and Ty, his usual partner, they play every day, and they play in the backyard. They've improved, and they're, they're the two top guys with, with Doug and Bill, and Doug and Bill have been uh, the top for a long time, and uh, they're, they're striving for it, and, and Molina is, you know, he's a tough customer, so... You know, you gotta you gotta put that in there in perspective as well. Yeah, if if Larry wasn't playing with Ty, Molina's a great partner to be picked up. So they picked up some they picked up some points right there. Now we've got it up to five. So we're at five to eight right now, coming out. Uh, Molina and them have first bag. Doug's following with second. That's a good bag there. Molina, real consistent, nice and smooth. Uh, Doug's kind of got a no-man bag out there, but he just pushes right by it. Yeah, it doesn't matter on Molina. He's got the air mail that's very consistent, and, uh, you know, it's not one that puts in front of the, the hole. It's uh, you got you got to do damage somehow with Molina. He, he's got the good uh, air mail uh, consistently. They washed out on that bag. Yeah, and that's the one thing about Molina. His air mail is not tall. It's nice and flat, and he drives a really good, and he can drive a bunch of bags in the hole. Yes, yeah, he can. And uh, people underestimate him. He wears the flip flops, and uh, you know, you kind of look at him. You're like, "There's no way this guy can win." Everybody knows when you're playing in Arizona, this guy's the real deal. You know, he, he's he's a good uh, replacement for Ty. Yeah, no doubt about that. They're just swapping bags right now. We can do an eight-bag rush. Oh, come up one. So looks like Larry and them pick up two more points. So now we're down to 7A. It's getting tight, getting tight. So once again, Bill and Doug are coming out of the winner's bracket. So Larry and Mr. Molina have to beat them twice. And that's a tough, that's that's a tough road to hold. Tough matchup, yeah. And uh, funny thing is, is uh, you know, every uh, Molina's – wearing different flip-flops and my dad and I are buying them new flip-flops for Christmas some new Jordan ones so hopefully uh, you know he can last a little year with them you know so we, we promised him that he's he's a good he's a good uh, he's good character everything uh, he's fun to watch these guys are uh, the real deal for sure yeah no doubt about it we're getting ready to head to Las Vegas here in November for uh, the what's it called the Southwest 
West, Southwest, Southwest. But it's a big event. It's a, it's a conference meet for us. Uh, actually, Doug and uh, Bill are not playing together because Doug won last year with Hector. So they're, D Hector and uh, Doug are going over to, to defend the doubles championship over there. Yeah, that would be a fun one to watch. And uh, definitely uh, Tim and uh, uh, Tim and... Tim, Tim and um, what's the, what's uh, I can't I can't remember uh, for some reason. People from Las Vegas or who are we looking no, for? No, no. Um, anyway, they give up a few more points there, and now we're up to nine. Doug and Bill have got uh, thirteen. So nine to thirteen, Doug and Bill, they're ahead right now. Like I said. Uh, Molina and them have to beat them. Doug throws a bag off the back. And Molina, you know, you can't you can't count him out here. You know, he, he'll 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 follow it like he did. He got one right in the one in the back, one in the front. Now, and we had our advanced single championship earlier. Our advanced singles championship was between Doug and Larry. Larry had to double tag Doug, and Larry was down in that last game by by five or six and came back and beat him. Yeah, it's a rematch from um, the East versus West, and Larry took the uh, the finals again. Uh, he's been uh, the hot one in Arizona, and uh, he, he's a fun one to watch, Larry. He's, he's like, again, him and Ty practice every day in the backyard, and uh, he, every day, 200 bags thrown every day, and it's, it's paid off. Yeah, they washed out that last board. Uh, they have one in the ball. Both of them have one in the hole. Both of them are on with a bag there. Uh, Larry, this will be his third bag, and, and he's staying consistent. They're just playing good strategy right now. Yeah, just pack, the hole, pack in front of the hole and just smother the hole. These guys are consistent. Doug's going for the air mail. Oh, he taps one in, ends up giving one. He goes off the back, but taps one in, gives up one. So now we're at 10 to 13. Doug and Bill still have the advantage, but the difference is 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 uh, Molina and them have the board themselves now, so they they got the first bag. Yeah, it's only three points for these guys, so they're they're not uh, they're not taking it light. Nor Molina and uh, and and Larry, they'll they'll, they'll finish them. It's going to be close. It's really going to be close. That's why we, a real consistency it makes it makes a big difference, and that's what we see when we have pros like this playing. Is they're super consistent. You know, they can trade bags back and forth. Uh, unfortunately, this time, Molina has two bags out on the back, and Doug puts four in the hole, so he's going to give up some more points. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, they just just keep calm. they got to beat him twice, so just got to stay relaxed. And uh, they're, they're the two that can beat him. They're the two that uh, make it make it uh, close out of, out of everyone that's here in, in the state of Arizona. Yeah, both of them have two bags in the hole right now between Doug and Larry. And it's kind of interesting. Larry faced up against him instead of going up against Doug. I don't know what the strategy was in that, but, you know, they, they all know each other really well. I think uh, Molina is good at uh, – he's good throwing against the board um, with his air mails and, and, you know, just being consistent in front. You know, maybe, maybe that might have had a factor in it, you know, but uh, it, Larry pretty much can throw at any angle – any angle you want so we just had another four bag wash so both both teams had four bags in the hole that was doug and larry down there we're coming back D bill has the board right now uh puts one right out as a big blocker and that's unusual for D or bill bill usually runs to the hole so it kind of shook uh molina make him step back a little bit yeah almost mate it almost seems like he's playing a little defense against molina trying to go for that air mail but uh that's he's a tough customer so that's exactly what he did. He made, he made Molina go for an airmail, and there it goes right there. Uh, Molina goes off the board, so that's, that hurts. You know, you can't give up any more points. Doug pushes him in. It puts him in jeopardy right now of losing this game. Yeah, uh, Molina's definitely got to sink this here, and he does. So Bill's got one more bag. He has three in the hole, one on, or two in the hole with three, and now he's got two on the board. Molina's got two in the hole. If he puts this in, Molina will pick up points. It's a big shot. Ooh. Oh, Molina had one off the bat, gives up two more, three more. So that's right. So it's 20 to 10. Uh, like I said, we need to uh, figure out what's going on. 
Yep, and uh, Doug uh, placed the bag in front, and so, yep, and Larry counters with a nice hole there. So Larry took advantage when he had a chance right there, so now he's going to come back. Another consistent throw by Larry right to the hole. Yep, and there, uh, Doug, Doug, Doug's got to put it close. Larry's going to finish him like he did. He, he uh, slid her right in. Nice. Uh, Doug with an MRL of his last bag. Larry comes back in. Four in the hole. Gives up. Gave up six. That's very, very unusual that Doug would give up six points. So we're now uh, 20 to six. Molina and them need to come back and pick up five right here and tap to go to a second game. It was a nice bag by Molina. He's keeping the pressure on Bill, making him uh, try to get a bag in front. Uh, you know, Molina can flush it just like he did. He's pushing that bag closer and closer. Yeah, he's going to make Molina go for an airmail, but Molina's not going to do airmail. He's going to go and try to knock it in. Yeah, he pushed that bag back. He left it wide open. Doug pushes in. The game's over. Yeah. Oh, no. We went up with a wash. That's right. Molina had two bags in up front. Wow. So we ended up with a wash. They're putting it back down in Doug's and Doug and Larry's hand. Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh you, you shoot. You have Larry shoot first. He'll make you. He make you pay for it. Yeah, Larry has one bag in the holes. Oh, he went for the airmail and missed. Doug staying consistent on the front. Larry has one in the hole, one off. Now he's going to cover. So now we have two bags on by Doug. Larry has one on and one in the hole. Doug pushes. He's pushing that bag forward. Yeah, Larry just needs to keep backing him up, backing him up, make him make him go for it. He's, they're up right now, so. Ooh. He went for it. Oh. Game Guess over. game over. And that was a, That's your final right there. Once again, this has been Tim Baldry, Timmy B, here with KB Cornhole. We're here at the Longview Casino in Chandler, Arizona, the ACL Network here. Also was sitting with me is Mr. Luke Stedman. Mr. Luke, thank you for sitting with me. Yeah, thank you a lot. And, uh, you know, it's good to watch these guys every every day. You know, you, you want to watch these guys. And you expect nothing less for these guys to be in the championship. So thank you. Hey, guys, thank you for watching us once again. This is uh, KB Cornhole. We're on the ACL Network here. Uh, we're talking at uh, we're in Chandler, Arizona. This was our advanced doubles final here. Uh, it was a great final. Uh, ended up being Bill and Doug. They beat them 21-16. It was a great final. Uh, thank you for watching. All right, we are here. This is Cassie Coleslaw Carey. We are here at Lone Butte Casino, and we have Felipe Villa Gomez and John Berg in the competitive singles. They have decided to start, and it looks like John Berg is gone ahead with the first bag.
We want to thank everybody for joining us. All right, right now we have John Berg up one point. John Berg with an airmail. He's got another one in the hole. Felipe one off the board. All right, we've got two for John Berg. Right now, it is Felipe Villagoma, zero, John Berg, three. These competitors have come a long way. Uh, I myself have been watching Felipe for the last year and have seen him uh, improve his game tremendously. Got a little bunch up in the hole there. And John Berg with another four. John Berg has the first bag. He's going to put it on the board. Felipe answers with a backup bag. John Berg tried there for the little airmail. Oh, Felipe pushed one in. Nice follow up. Ooh, two off the back of the board. One for each. We're gonna wait and see what Felipe does here. And he puts it in the hole. So Felipe now has some points on the board. We are 7-3 John. Again, we are here at Lone Butte Casino in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, believe it or not, today we have uh, a rainy day schedule, and we are in a flash flood watch. Felipe with one off the back of the board. John with three on. All right, we still have a score of seven to three right now. Got one in. John Berg follows Felipe. Felipe off to the side of the hole. John Berg off the back. Giving an opening for Felipe to put one in. John Berg with a blocker. Felipe backing it up. John Berg with one off the back again. Going to give Felipe four points, and now we are seven up. All right. Felipe with one to the left side of the hole, John Berg in.
Felipe goes in to follow. John Berg with one to the left side. We are all even. Felipe with one on. Oh, John Berg with a sneaker. Felipe with one sitting on the back side of the hole. Oh, it goes with John's bag. Beautiful. Uh, the boards we are playing on today are um, Original Cornhole Company. Uh, one of our local guys here, Ray Sandoval, makes these beautiful boards for us, and we uh, want to give a little shout-out to him. All right, John with the first bag. Felipe to follow, backing it up. John giving it one more. Oh, Felipe with the airmail try. All right, John off the board. Felipe backing that bag up again. John just took a look to see what he's got available. Off the back of the board, giving Felipe a little bit of a shot. Oh, Felipe with off the back of the board. Still takes the first point. So right now we're 9-8 on the scoreboard. Really great Saturday here. We have um, the Arizona State number one player right now in the ACL rankings here today, who happens to be Felipe's doubles partner. So um, greatness not short there. Again, like I said, I've watched Felipe and uh, his partner is Eric Nava. And I've watched them over the last year, and their game has improved dramatically. We are so proud of these two guys. They are bringing a serious A game to Cornhole. All right, Felipe is now up. We are 10-9. Felipe with the first bag in. John Berg off the back of the board. Felipe putting a blocker up with John Berg off the board again. Felipe pushing one in. John Berg putting one on the board. Ooh, Felipe trying for that bag. Still giving Felipe some points there. Felipe with six points on that. Big, big round for Felipe. All right, right now we have 16-9 Felipe. John Berg just put one in. Gives him the advantage right now. He is one point up. Two in. Giving John four on that round. Felipe following John on the board. John with one in. John with a second bag in. Felipe putting a second bag on the board. John following it. Felipe with one off the back of the board. This gives John the advantage. Last bag for Felipe. Oh, off the back of the board. It's going to give John six. We are 16 up.
we have uh, tournament play, if you can hear the voice in the background. We have tournament play going on. <laughs> Cornhole never stops here. All right, we've got both bags on the board. And we've got Felipe putting one in the hole. Oh, John with a blocker. Let's see what Felipe does here. Oh, knocks John's in. We are even right now. John off to the right side. And Felipe puts it in the hole. All right, Felipe with the first bag. And he's going to put to the left side of the hole. John in the hole, right past Felipe's bag. Felipe's going to go right past his own bag into the hole to follow. If you notice, John has stepped out to the side. giving himself a little advantage. Oh, step back in, step back in. Sitting against Felipe's bag. Oh, Felipe's gonna go ahead and throw. He's pinned John's bag. John took his own bag in. We're gonna go one John. All right, so we are 1817 right now. Felipe's got uh, his partner, his doubles partner behind me cheering, Eric Nava. Nice little crowd here watching. John with one off the back of the board. Felipe follows with one in the hole. Felipe follows with a second in the hole. John off to the side of the hole. John goes in. Felipe follows. Nice round. And that is going to give Felipe three points and the game. So we have our champion, Felipe Villagomez, competitive singles against John Berg. Great match, guys. Thanks so much for listening, and you guys have a great rest of your afternoon. Hi, right, good afternoon everybody else. This is Timmy B here. We're with the competitive doubles uh, semis. Uh, we have uh, four players out on the board right now. It's, this is a doubles, this is the ACL Network. Uh, Bert and Henry versus Ray and Andy. We have the Mr. OCC, the original Ray Sandoval on the live broadcast today. How's that going? Yeah, it's, it's cool to see Ray out here and, uh, you know, in the championship. Uh, he, he deserves it. He, he puts on a good show everywhere he goes. Uh, it's always good to see Ray out here in the championship, of course. You know, courtesy of, courtesy of Ray Sandoval, boards that we play on here in Arizona are all original OCC boards. Ray and them have picked up three points on that last board. Uh, we also have a, a great thing going on here. We have Bert... Uh, Bert and Andy, and Bert is our oldest ACL player alive right now. Uh, he, Bert's trimming that, that one little thin 80 years old. Yeah, 
He's uh, a veteran, Air Force. Uh, it's always good to talk to him. He's, he's uh, the love of the crowd. Uh, he's, he's fun to watch, and uh, he throws a consistent bag. He's, he's, when he's on, he's, he's tough to beat. And, uh, you know, we're all for, fortunate to play against Bert because yeah, he's there. Bert's a great guy. He's been around a long time. He's got a lot of wisdom and knowledge. He, he puts it out to everybody. And Bert's the guy that's willing to help anybody. You know, He'll sit back and, and help anybody. And he'll teach you how to play. He supports you. Uh, he's just a great guy. Looks like we've got, uh, we picked up some more points down there. We're now 6-0, to zero, Ray and, and uh, Andy. Uh, Ray has the board, and he was going to have the first bag. Yeah, and uh, Ray throws it off there, and Andy, right? Andy? Yeah. yeah. He uh, follows him a little bit, so it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough matchup for uh, Bert and Andy. They're uh, you know they're see I wouldn't say season, but uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good matchup here. Yeah, Ray's a real consistent player. He plays a lot, um, and he does a good job. He. Uh, like I said, he does all, and we Arizona loves Ray. He uh, takes care of us all. All right, so we gave up another six. This is game's going quick, um, and it, and it's tough. It, it's tough because uh, Henry's down there playing against a real season vet in Ray. Yeah, and who's got to win uh, twice, or the? No, the winner of this goes on to the championship. So this is our semifinal right here. Gotcha. Yeah, it's 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 fun to see. You know, again, Bert's the uh, fan favorite always. Every time he throws, uh, he's, a, he's a good vet, and uh, we all support him, everything that he does. And like Timmy said, he's he's a good coach too. New new beginners, he's 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 there coaching you. He don't care no matter what how many drinks he's got. He's still uh, he's still he's still in there. You know. They gave up four more. I mean, they're having a tough road to hoe here. Um, we're now sixteen to zero. Ray and and uh, Ray and Andy, um, but you know it, it, it's a tough game. You have to be consistent, and that's the difference. We just had the advanced singles here, and we you, we broadcast that, and you you saw how consistent they were. You know everything's on the board. You know you're gonna find with competitive, not every bag's gonna be on the board. Not every bag's gonna be in the hole. Yeah, and all these guys are capable. You know if you know maybe a year down the road, all these guys will be playing competitive. They they you know the, like. Larry and Ty um, back at the uh, the last finals. Ty didn't play, but they play every day in their backyard. They put they throw at least 200 bags a day, and they're you know they started out like everyone else, and they're back in it. And that was a quick game. We ended up 21-0. Uh, it was a quick game, but you know it, it was a good, consistent game. Ray and them came out, so we'll be watching and we'll get them back. All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, Timmy B here and uh, Mr. Luke Stedman. We're here with the ACL Network. Uh, this is going to be the competitive. Competitive double finals here. Uh, we're getting ready to start. Uh, they, they've started, they've spun. So we got a great team going on. We got Mr. OCC again, Ray Sandoval and Andy. And uh, we have uh, Beth and Angie who have been real consistent partners. Uh, they're just getting started here. So we got a 0-0 zero, zero start. Uh, I missed the first board. What happened, Luke? Uh, I missed it too, actually. Um, from Andy and Beth, it looks like four, the four, uh, four bag there. So uh, four, four zero. 4-0. Once again, we're on the ACL Network. This is KB Cornhole. We're here at Lumbu Casino in Chandler, Arizona. Uh, this is our competitive final. Uh, Angie and Beth are coming out of the winner's bracket. They have to They win. It's over with. Ray and um, Ray and, and Andy, uh, they have to win twice to win the event. It's good to have uh, girls compete, too. Uh, Angie and Beth are uh, at the top. And uh, not only they could... They're, no surprise that they're in the competitive division, but they can also be in the advance and be up there with the, uh, you know, the, 
the Dugs and the Bills and uh, the Larrys up there. So it's good. It's cool to have them. Playing. Yeah, they're a very consistent team. It's fun. They come and play with us on the week during the week uh, when we do blind draw stuff. And it, I, I'm always happy to have one of them as a partner because we know they're good. So we just had a wash on that board. Uh, so uh, Angie will have the first bag coming out, and which is super important in these games. And once again, it's competitive, so we know that they're not going to be consistent four in the hole, but they're going to be consistent. Yeah, definitely. And uh, it's it's no joke playing against uh, Angie and Beth. Um, you're always looking for it. Always consistent around the hole. Um, Angie and Beth, uh, they really, on their games, they can four bag you left and right. It's, 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 uh, they're a tough matchup. They're a real deal. I'll be honest with you. I haven't beat either one of them yet, and we've been playing together a lot. And so uh, they are a very tough matchup. Look at that. She airmailed that, dropped two bags in the hole. What a great foe. Yeah. And Ray uh, couldn't answer on that one, but. Uh, it, it's it's a uh, it's a tough matchup, you know. Um, but they got to they got to beat them twice, and um, it's it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. They're they're always they're always in it. You can't count them out. So. so we got an eight zero score right now. Uh, Beth and Angie are ahead eight to zero. Ray and Ray and Andy aren't out of this. They got to get back in there and be consistent. And I know they can be. And Mr. Ray, OCC himself, Ray Sandoval, uh, just a great guy. And he's very competitive, and he, and he plays very, very well. Yeah, he does. It's good to, it's good to uh, see Ray keep her going and uh, move to that finals because uh, everything that he does, it's, it's, it's fun to, uh, to watch him play. And, uh, he, you know, he's competitive as well. So, uh, Andy just threw an airmail right there, and Beth comes back and pushes hard. The ba bags are pretty close, pretty consistent. Uh, Ray and uh, Andy just picked up their first points. They picked up four. Uh, you know, and, and it's kind of crazy. Ray's got, his, Ray's got his OCC jersey on. Down here on the other side, we have Miss Chili Billy, Willis Painting's jersey down there. And what great people those Willis's are. They, they do a great job painting. Uh, it's great to see them and sponsor some of the players out here. Yeah, it, yeah it's a good time. They're all, all of them are a good time. Uh, you know everybody uh, around them. They're they're a fan favorite as well, and they do a good job uh, on on cornhole and softball. And they they support all the teams that they play for, and they do a very good job. They're very passionate of what they do, and and uh, you know it's it's fun to have them out here in cornhole. I mean they also they also bring a lot of people here too. Yeah, I would say we have a great Arizona group here for cornhole. Looks like we washed out again. Uh, Andy and them are going to have first throw again. Uh, you know, Andy and them just have to be consistent, and they can work their way back into this. It's not, it's not big. You're not going to have big turns in this. Once in a while you will, but, you know, you'll get these ones and twos and threes and fours, which is important. Yeah. Every bag counts, especially in the, you know, when, a lot, you know, when people are watching and it's on, uh, it's on live cam, it's, it's a little uh, nerve-wracking, but they, they come through. Yeah, Andy's got two bags in. Beth's got one and one hanging. This is Andy's third bag, and he gets it in right now. Andy's Andy's on fire right now. He's doing well. Yeah, I don't know a lot about Andy, but uh, he's 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 throwing some good bags. He's holding up uh, Ray down there, and uh, Ray's throwing good himself. But again, Andy, Angie, and Beth are uh, they're they're the real deal and competitive, and uh, they they can play both. That's they tied it up. Andy picks up four more on Beth, tied it up. So now we're at, we're back even, but. But we're really not because Beth and Angie are coming out of the winner's bracket, so they they, they, they could lose this one and still be in it. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, they just they just need to uh, take deep breaths, slow her down, and, uh, you know, Ray and Andy, I mean, they've they played well all day, and they deserve to be here. Yeah, one thing about Angie is she's super consistent, and she does have a real good airmail. And she will, she'll come back and she's going to slide and push on this bag. And she tried to push it, but she's kind of stuck because her bag's on the sticky side right now. Right. And uh, this is a big shot for uh, Angie right now. She can close it. Uh, she stacked him up. She stacked him up, gave up one point. They picked it up, so that's going to give them back. Uh, it's going to give uh, Beth and Angie back the, the lead on the board. It's going to give uh, Beth the first bag going back down this way. Uh, and like I said, best real consistent. She's going to throw a blocker up there. Uh, and it slides right in the hole. So she didn't throw the blocker. Right. 
And, and you know, people from, you know, Vegas, everyone that comes here and they play, you know, a couple chicks, they're, 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 they're as good as anybody else out here. And they'll, they'll come through and they're, it's no surprise that they're in the championship for competitive. They're, they're really good. So. Yeah, Beth, Beth played in our state championship in our women's final. She played against uh, Deidre, Team Bling, but uh, Beth's real consistent. They've got bags up on the board. I think Beth has one in the hole, so they're going to give up a couple there. No, nope, the well, we ended up with a wash. Both of them had bags in the hole. All right, so that's going to bring Angie back out first, and she'll have first bag. Actually, and she's going to lead with a blocker a little bit up front. Yep, and Ray threw it off, but you know you gotta you gotta you gotta stay in front of these girls because they'll, uh, they'll they'll get you done real quick, no joke. Angie goes around and they're bound the bag, go puts the second one in. The third one's off of no man's land a little bit. Ray comes back and puts one right in the hole, and there goes Angie right in the hole for her fourth bag. Ray sits outside, so they're gonna give up a couple. They give up Ray and them gave up three points. Angie and them are up now, uh, twelve to eight. So, it, it, you know, it's a tough, tough deal. Ray's got to settle back down. They're not out of this. I mean, we're just consistent, and it just takes one or two points. It's not a big deal. It's not – you will see some big swings, big points given up in competitive, but still just one or two is the most be just being consistent. Yeah, just being consistent. Be consistent, and especially with the playing against these girls, you got to really – you know, you do a no-man's land shot, you got to come back and, and, and at least – Get it, get it in front. All, all in front shots, sides, back, don't mean nothing but in front. So. Angie, Angie blocks up there. She's got three on, one in. He has th two on. He's got his last bag, and he's coming back with his last bag. And he airmails it, drags in the other bag, though. So it's going to end up being a wash again. What a tough wash, though, man. But Andy, that was consistent. Nice airmail by Andy. Yeah, and these guys will be... In uh, competitor uh, in advance, real soon. I mean, they throw they're throwing the right bags at the right time. And they know how to know how to defense. You know, they're 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 doing really well. Ray goes slick side slides off the back. Angie's consistent right now. She's dialed in, coming in slick side. Ray throws a sticker and it sticks right on there. One thing about this board is it's a little sticky because it's closer to the thing. Ray comes back, no man's land, game over. Uh, they gave up some big numbers that time. So, congratulations to uh, Beth and uh, Beth and Beth and uh, Angie. They win it. Uh, they do a great job here. You know, Luke, I really appreciate you sitting here with me uh, and, and broadcast with me. My broadcast, other broadcast partner is gone, but so I really appreciate you. Yeah, I'm a fill-in, but it, it's it's fun, Tim, and you and Jack do a great job of you know holding these events and your own events, and you guys. It's good to have you both. Uh, you know, the Cornhole family is, uh, you know, we're really lucky to have you both, and it, it, it's fun to be out here. Yeah, it's really great. Uh, I really appreciate Aaron and Todd from KB Cornhole asking us to, to do the broadcast for them and help them out. Uh, once again, this is Timmy B. and, and Luke. We're here from uh, uh, the Chandler, Arizona at the Long Butte Casino. Uh, this was a KB Cornhole event. You're on the ACL Network live. Uh, appreciate you watching. This was our competitive final. Uh, of course, once again, Beth and Angie win. They get that, that 21 grade thing. You get that score sitting up there for them. Once again, thank you guys. Have a great evening. All right, good afternoon, guys. Here we are. We're here, here at the Lone Boot Casino in Chandler, Arizona. This is Craby Cornhole. We're getting ready to start our... Social final. Looks like they're throwing their first bags right now. They've already spun. They're warming up. Social singles, Social singles finals right and here. I'm Timmy B. And this is Giacomo. We're here at KB Cornhole. Their event is Social Singles. We're getting ready to start here. Uh, they already started. We're at a 0-0 right now. This is the first set of boards. Our players, we have Sean Kelso. Kelso. Sean is a retired Army vet. He uh, did 20 years. Now up in Flagstaff going to school. Uh, he's the he's coming out of the winners bracket. Our other one is TJ, who plays with us a lot, and we know TJ pretty well. We know TJ, but you're gonna have to do his last name. Oh, good luck on that one. We'll, we'll just say it's TJ. Castro Here we go. Riccini. Castro Riccini. Did we see if there was a score down there or not? All right, uh, starting out. Uh, you know what, uh, Jack? 
good thing about this is I just played these guys. I played both of them. Did you? And and this uh, let me let me make an announcement. Mr. Tim Baldry right here came in third place in social singles. Good for him. Third place. Nice job. I played both of them. I came out of the winners bracket. I lost to to Sean. Then I had to play TJ, and TJ beat me. So and they're both pretty consistent. They're both pretty well. It's like we got some score. So we're at, we're, we're up three three right now. So TJ has to double dip him. TJ has to beat him. So the pressure's on TJ a little bit. But Sean, like I said, John was pretty consistent. This is the first tournament Sean's ever played in. Really? First tournament? So he's already in the winner's bracket? He's going to have to move up. That's excellent playing right there. Excellent playing. Yeah, the one thing that I noticed about Sean is he does go a lot of stick side. He has a hard time with a push, but he's really good with an air mail. You know, he's throwing a lot of sticky side on these boards right now with the humidity and the rain and everything else. It, it's going to make throwing really tough. But the one plus is the, they'll stay on the board. TJ is a real consistent forward thrower. TJ's throwing blue bags. Sean is throwing red bags. Yeah, TJ is the taller gentleman with the, with the cornhole short, uh, with the cool jersey. He just picked up another point. And then Sean, Sean is our guy, is from Flagstaff. He's got the little shirt on there. A couple, a couple things is, is the difference between social players and advanced players is going to be your perception on when to throw the correct side of the bag. Right now, he's sticking on the board like, like Velcro. As an advanced player, you would never do that. The first time it sticks like that, you're going to have to switch bags and say, you know what, i got to do something other than what he's doing right now. You know, the board that we played on over there was a little slicker. And you know I play with the Reynolds bags, and so I don't have a real sticky side. I have a a, a, a slicker and then a slicker, slicker side. So yeah, yeah, the bags are, are fast. They're fast. But uh, again, uh, board number one, board number one boards I hear are very, very sticky, even more so than the other ones. Yes, yeah, TJ goes slick side off the back, yeah. and he goes sticky side and falls off. We're by the front door, so they're getting some of the weather coming through the door, and that's why this board's a little sticky. And again, the sticky side is, is good for blocking, but it's not going to really play into putting it into the hole. As you see, they just keep sticking. TJ can air mill this. Oh, nice air mill, T. Yeah. Nice air mill. TJ is a social player still. Oh, and, nice and he, oh, <laughs> Sean comes back with an air mill. Yes. They're both good players. They both probably shouldn't be in social, but here we are. But you know what? This is where you start. You cannot move up to competition to advance or, or intermediate level until you proven yourself in social and one these two guys will definitely move up to a meet intermediate yeah most definitely you know i did real well i did i played pretty consistent um i lost two games i went like four and two today which is okay it didn't get me there but i, I played really consistent a lot better than the last tournament i played yeah. see the thing is is tj has found out that the boards are really sticky so he's throwing a slidey side but sean is still he just won't budge from from sticky side he just won't budge he's gonna have to air with these or do something with it yeah, TJ's not scared of the slick side. You can see right there, he's got it right in. He's got 10 points on the board. Oh, oh. nice airmail by Sean. Nice airmail by Sean. That really makes up, but you know what? He still lost points. Yeah. Went yeah. two down on that one. And TJ has to stay on ahead because TJ's coming out of the loser bracket. He has to win twice to win. You know, at the same time, these guys are focused. They're learning the game as it is because they're in social, but at the same time, they're throwing the bags in a consistent manner. And that's, you know, I haven't seen a bag off the board yet. Oh, they've been pretty consistent. We had one couple that flipped off in the f two boards ago, but, you know, they've been real consistent. And like I said, Sean's scared of the slick side, but TJ's using his slick side and he just doubled the bag. Sean doubled it up right there. See? There it is, laying on the TJ with a slidey side. We'll put it almost in with a little pressure. He might push. Oh, and Sean, Sean's a little rattled right now. Sean's a little bit rattled, but it's okay. You know, it's okay. Sean, Sean has can't be rattled right now. No. Uh, the consistency, again, with TJ putting the slidey bag forward, and Sean probably needs to put a blocker in front of him, a blocker in front of the hole so he stops the slide. Yeah, but TJ has the board right now. TJ gets first bag. Mm -hmm. well, even with first bag, oh, there, there's a good blocker. I think he's taking my advice, and he's going. And then uh, we've got a real good chance that TJ is going to air He still stays seeky side. TJ can air mail real well. There it is. Oh, that is going to be a tough. I don't know what's going to happen with this one. Oh, look at Sean. Dropped them all. TJ said, thank you very much for doing my job for me. All he has to do is put it on the board for points. Oh, what a four bag. Four bags in social. Four bag in social by that guy right there. Yeah, wow. What a great. Just picked up four. 
and again, I'm telling you, TJ's thanking his stars that Sean did it for him. There were three bags hanging on the hole. He just popped it in, Sean did, and then uh, just came away with three points, four points, 15-3. That's a good final. TJ's ahead right now. He's got him, it got him hurting. Yeah, he's, he's, definitely, he's definitely struggling on the other side. I mean, I, I wish I could tell him, you know, you got to flop your bag over a little bit because they're sticking like Velcro. Sean just hasn't figured that out yet. That's just part of being a social player. And this is, oh, there he goes. He went slick side that time. He did go slick side. That's the first time we saw. That was an excellent throw. A, a little harder than would have taken him off. Now but see, he's scared of that. That'll scare him, so he'll back off a little bit. Just for that reason right there, he went over the back of the board. Nice bag, nice bag. Slidey side. He did. He stayed slidey side that time. He didn't back off, so it was good. He's going to pick up a point. And uh, oh, TJ picked up the point. Yeah, one off. So we're 16-3, TJ's ahead. Once again, TJ has to win twice to win the tournament. Well, okay, Sean went slidey side a couple of times, three, three times on that one. But you know what? He's still gun shy because he doesn't want to put it past the board. I mean, the one time you throw a bag over the board, you're like, holy smokes, that's fast. Yeah. The one thing that I found out playing Sean is I had to put a blocker in there. And, we, and uh, if we don't have a blocker with Sean, he's going to go airmail. You have to have a close blocker. It can't be a ways away. Yeah, he, he's real consistent with putting it over the top of your bag. And there it is, right? We we're going to try to do a wash on that one. Four bag yeah. wash on top. Oh, does CJ got one in? I think he might have one in. Nope, no, it's four on top. So we did a wash. Coming back, TJ will have the board first bag. Yeah, no, it's good. He's, he's sitting pretty good with 16 to 3 right now. But again, you got to play a little bit conservative with that kind of lead. You don't want to start throwing wild air mills or anything. It makes no sense. Yeah, you can't back off. I found that out. I mean, I was way ahead up on. I was way ahead on TJ. I had him by six, seven points, yeah. and I backed off a little bit, and and, and it came, got me, got me. See, unfortunately, right here is what the problem is. You've got to four on the board. TJ put two and two off the board. So again, it goes back to consistency. Sean scored another one. He scored two on that one. So sixteen to five. Yeah, and, and that's a different social to advance to competitive. Social guys are going to get four bags on the board. They should be consistent, four bags on the board. Doesn't necessarily be at four bags in the hole. Advance is going to put four in the hole. Sean, Sean is, is, is really shooting for the hole, like, randomly. I mean, he's shooting for the hole, which is good. But, again, the sticky side is just not working in this kind of atmosphere right now. TJ already put one in with a slide side. That was a great aim rail. I mean, if Sean could air mill every time, he'd be golden. Sean has a real good air mill. You have, to, you have to build it up. We have a wash right there. So we're going to keep moving. Uh, TJ is going to be a first bag. And he's still got the bag. 16 to 5. We're here at the Lone Butte Casino here in Chandler, Arizona. Oh, actually, Sean has first bag because he got the last point. He throws in front of the point. And we're at Lone Butte Casino here in Chandler, Arizona with KB Cornholes tournament here it's a saturday it's rainy outside it is pouring outside all day it's the craziest thing i mean this is arizona you're not expecting this right here see again uh, sean goes with an air mill over the top of tj tj needs a really solid slide side push right now to push that one in he's still got the lane open he's still got the front lane open he's gonna do it. there it is great drags two bags in there we go great side that, that pulls it to a wash no oh. we had three yeah Yeah, there he picked up three. There we go. We're at 19, 19-5. had one off. Again, he tried to air mill. Sean tried to air mill the last one right there and just pulled it right off the back of the board. TJ has, like, the entire front three-quarters of the board to work with. It was slidey side. Um, if Sean would just flip his bag over, I think we're getting in good shape. Yeah, he's scared of that. He's scared of that slick side, but he's, he's consistent enough he could throw the slick side. He's just a little too high. He needs to bring that throw down just a little bit. Like use the front of the board. TJ uses the front of the board. That could have been an air mill to clear that out. But All right, that's a TJ wins that first game. So 21, he gets it there. So we're gonna reset it and we'll get back to and we're gonna. This will be sudden death right here. Sudden death. We're gonna reset the scores. And uh, here we go. Sudden death. TJ has first back. This is just like a reminder of the, of the Bill and Larry game. I mean, Larry had to double dip him. TJ's doing the same exact thing. Coming out of the loser's bracket and got a double dip Sean right here. Sean's got a real consistent throw. It's good. But, I mean, TJ's just going to do it on board number one with the slidey side. And sometimes it's the experience. TJ has a lot more experience playing with us because he plays every night almost with us. And he's played a couple of tournaments. So he has the experience. And in social, that makes a big difference, I really think. 
It does make a difference because he knows what side of the bag to use. I mean, he's got to go. He, he notices that these are not moving, and, and Sean's being consistent by throwing them on the board, but at the same time, it's not moving the bag forward. There, it, it, It's a great blocker, but it, it's not doing anything. Yeah, it was opening board there. It was 0-0 wash. TJ still has first bag and comes right in. Slick side goes right in. Sean went over the back. He's don't look, don't get upset, Sean. Slow down. And the one thing I noticed, these guys are throwing very, very fast. I mean, this is probably the fastest set of throwers I've seen in a long time. It's like machine gun out there. Yeah, so that's one of the things I did do to them is I did slow it down so that I tried to slow it down, take some deep breaths. Well, you've got to. I mean, a lot of times it may break your rhythm, but at the same time when you're throwing, you, you lose sometimes of your technique and your throwing focus when you're just trying to chuck the bags. It, it makes things tough. But I think coming out of the social, they're going to learn as they go into intermediate. So when you're throwing, Jack, do you concentrate where you want your bag to go or do you concentrate where you want the nose of the bag to go? How do, what are you looking at when you're on the board? Well, Tim, half the time I'm just hoping to hit the board. <laughs> uh, Jack and Mo, I know yeah. better than that. So I know you know. I'm just trying to hit the board. Actually, you know what? It, when, when I start throwing bags, I need to focus on the hole. And the one thing I'm starting to come back around is I got to use the front of the board more like TJ. I got to use the front. I start aiming at the hole. It goes off the back. I got to use the front of the board more. One of the things I do is I think where I want the bag to hit so that my hand goes to that position. It doesn't work all the time, but it helps me. It does. I mean, that's that thought process is going across there. But TJ is closing the gap right now, going up 8-0 eight, eight right now. This yeah. is the double dip. This is sudden death right here at Lone Butte Casino. Yeah, TJ's put the pressure on him. So, like I said, it's, it's the, it, the experience that TJ has is going to overwhelm uh, Sean right now. But Sean comes with a good airmail. Well, his airmail is going to do good if he could do that four times in a row, which he almost did. Well, he's got two there, so we're going to see if he follows up. TJ left a little opening right there for him. Nice bag, nice bag. Maybe Sean's kind of figured out that he needs to play his game. Yeah, he's just shooting for the hole right now. Look at that, a four-bagger against that. Holy smokes, that's going to hurt. Yep, six. six. Yeah, that brings it right back into a game now where we're within two. Sean picks up six. Yep, so now, now. now we're six, eight. We're going back. You know, TJ jumped way out on him, but Sean's, I think he's kind of figured out that, hey, I got to play my game, not play TJ's game. Yeah, he's just going to start uh, getting that bag a little higher and up towards the hole and start playing his game with the airmail right there. If he stays consistent like that, then it's going to be a good plus. TJ's got to move these bags forward. The only problem about airmail on all the times, you're going to miss the hole. There it is. Good shot. TJ, when he's going airmail, he's got to keep a, he's got to keep a blocker in front or it's going to really, really hurt him with Sean. There we go. That's that's the sole reason we just discussed that because it was, oh, great shot by TJ. He's going to use that. He's going to use that up right there. Yeah, Sean had one off the board. That's going to give TJ three. He two off the board on that one. Did he have two off, he the, two board? off the board? Wow. So we're now going to be at 11-6. So that quick, it changes again. And it's a big momentum swing, that big of points. Oh, my goodness. You know, and again, it, it, it's just these guys are throwing so fast. It's, it's like crazy. But they're, they're doing it. They're doing it. They're doing good. Oh, Sean's getting a little bit rattled right now. I think Sean's a little rattled. TJ's being consistent. Well, he's got three, four in front of the hole. He's got to make up some points right now. TJ could do something like, oh, a little too fast, a little too fast. And that's the one thing I did figure... That's the one thing I did figure is TJ would get in a hurry and he'd try to push me, so I'd step back a little bit, try to shake him up. Yep. Well, a lot of times it's breaking the rhythm. I mean, you've got a person like Molina or, or Mike Torres where they come in and they've got a rhythm that they set for themselves and they throw the consistent bag. You've got to break that rhythm or else they get their arm motion, everything stays the same, and you go, ooh, got to back off, give them a little, little cool down time. Yeah, and there, there is some games to it. I mean, there, it's not just throwing the bag and being consistent. He missed that one. But it, there is a little bit of head games. You've got to get in their head a little bit somehow. TJ made up that uh, one shot right there. He put it in front of the board by boarding it in the front, but then he slid the other one up. He left a blocker on the left-hand side. He could go over the top right now. He needs to go over the top. I'd probably go sticky side over the top. Oh, down. He bounced it off. Unfocused. So that's going to give Sean some points right here. No, no is it a wash? One, oh, no, one, one shot, one for Sean. All right. So we're back here. We're at the Lone Butte Casino here in Chandler, Arizona. We're KB Cornhole. This is Timmy B. and Giacomo. We're here calling the, the social single final here. 
on a Saturday afternoon, rainy in Phoenix, Arizona, or Chandler, Arizona. Raining, raining, rain, rain, rain. It's crazy. It feels like Seattle, Washington out there. It really does. It's nuts. But you know what? These two right here have earned the spot to get here in social advance. I mean, social um, singles. They they played their hearts out. I mean, it takes a long time. This is at least what time did they start. Like. We started at 11. There was 24 singles in this, this event. Looks like they're throwing for a wash right now, four-bag wash on the table. 24 singles in the social singles. You know, it was a great tournament. There was some good players. Um, I got pushed a little bit, but I'm getting more consistent, and that's the big thing is I'm learning. And what I'm learning from you and the guys that have been helping me is just consistent, consistent four boards, four bags on the board, down the middle. You got to put them on the board and start from there. You got to put them on the board, and things will happen. That's the whole thing. Oh, Sean is just dropped two air mills right there. TJ's got to refocus a little bit because he threw that other one off. He's still got room. Just got to take his time. That a boy. That's a shot right there. If he does that again, oh. Yeah, TJ's got to get that blocker out in front and just keep him away. But he's gonna get. He gave up one, so it's 10-11 now. You know, it's tight, tight. This is a sudden death. Winner takes a tournament. 10-11. TJ won the first game, so he had to double tap because uh, Sean was, yeah, Sean took two. So um, TJ's coming out of the loser's back, so he had to win the first one. He came out and crushed him the first time. Sean settled down a little bit now. Yep. Actually, Sean settled down a lot now. It's, it, he's starting to improve his game quite a bit by throwing a really good, consistent air mill over the top. A little bit unorthodox, but it's working for him. Yeah, he's still scared of the slick side, though. He's all sticky side right now. But we had a three-bag wash. No, oh, nope, Sean put one in. That's right. He did put one in, so he moves ahead by three points right there. I mean, TJ had a really good opportunity by having a bag in front there. He just was a little gun shy, didn't throw it as hard as he should to get those two bags moving towards the hole. And that, like he said, that's once again the difference between competitive and social and advanced. What we're looking for, we get a little, we look, get a little gun shy as social guys. Yeah, I understand that, but I mean, if you've got a, you've got a bag in front of the hole right there, it, it's got to be a gimme six. Got to give me a six immediately. Nice air mill. Sean is reeling it in right now. TJ's getting a little shook up. Oh, look at that! That is three right there. Sean's getting on fire, and that's the one thing that that. that TJ has got to get a blocker. Even even if Sean throws the first one, he has got to get a blocker at the hole and not let him give him an open hole. Yeah, it's going to be 20, 20 to eleven right now. Twenty to eleven. Sean has, has picked up his game and just said, you know what? I'm going to throw this. I'm going to throw it in the hole on an air. So even if Sean comes in first, now TJ's got to push it. Well, actually, TJ's got an opening on the left hand side. He just needed to find it with the slightest side because just Sean just threw one off. There we go. Now he's got to push a little bit harder up the front. He's got a center shot. He's got to push it hard. There he goes for the push. Oh, and it flips over. I'd probably put it on the board and take a wash. That's a wise choice, wise choice. Oh, he took one from that one. Yeah, Sean bounced one off. So, yeah. But the big thing is, is he gets the board now. He's going to be he's gonna be throwing first. You've got to come out with that blocker and cover that hole because Sean's on fire on the air mills right now. He is right now, but the one thing you got to remember is, oh, my goodness, it's 20. You, you, TJ's looking at the score. He's going, my nerves are shot. It's 20. I blow one bag. I blow one bag. It's done. He blows one bag. It's done. And that might be it right there. That might be it right there. We'll see. Yeah, TJ's got to come on. Oh, that's going to hurt right there. TJ needs this bag in the hole. Yeah, that might be all she wrote. That's game. There it is. Nice game, guys. Sean's going to end up winning. Sean Kento. So this was our social single final here at Longview Casino in Chandler, Arizona. Jacqueline's out. He's got to go play. I got to go play. See you. Peace. Come out and play. All right. Thanks again. Thanks for watching, guys. We're here in Chandler, Arizona. We're at the Longview Casino with KB Cornhole. We're here.